Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to... I'm... No, look. This is silly. We keep playing these runs with just ludicrous, impossible combinations of awful items. And I kind of predicted this, if I'm being honest, back when I was unlocking everything. Like, this is just going to make our starts worse. Uh, I, I, and I still agree with what I said. So, <laughs> um, I, I guess we're going to try with this weapon now. Um, did you see how it hurt me when I tried to go past it? <laughs> like, I, I tried to stomp down on top of it and it still managed to do me considerable damage. It's okay. All we need to do is not take so much damage that we are embarrassed not to get through this level without killing 30 things and not getting hit. Oh, don't take that one. Never mind. But in the end of the last episode, we died horribly because we were probably being a little bit overconfident about our skills on the prison depths but we did manage to unlock and then immediately lose a rare blueprint i don't think we're going to be able to do that on this run but honestly i'm well maybe uh i'm thinking that you should take the hunter's grenade as your second skill if and only if if, if your the, the first skill that you get in that regard is any good in the first place because if it's not you're just going to have one skill slot that you can never replace. And then one skill shot slot that you wish you'd placed, right? Like here, for example, what's a boy to do? My uh, only recourse is to sneak up behind them. Take them out. <laughs> oh, it's actually working. Which is inconceivable. You whack it behind them, shoot them, and then get out of the way. Nice. A little bit more tactical that time. No, he said with his creepiest voice. My voice is still breaking. Um, it's only been 30 years since it should. Wait. I, I think that may be a little bit incorrect. 30 years? I mean, I would expect it to have uh, broken when I was five. Why did your voice break? Mine broke when I was five. If you um, remember when you were a kid, I assume that you did. Most people as a kid would have bragged about virginity loss and things like that. Oh, ho! Didn't think that I'd be able to uh, do that, but I did. What does this cudgel do? Stunts. It's just a stun. It's okay. I just don't want it. <laughs> I don't care. Bash. Um, um, is, oh, is this good? Probably. Sure, why not? I can't even sell that, so we might as well take something amazing. Um, is when your voice broke one of those things? I've literally never even discussed with people when my voice broke. I remember, um, oh, let's try it. <laughs> If we don't like it, we can get that one back because it's just lying there for anybody to take. Um, I remember I was in Pizza Hut. Have I told this story? Probably. In Pizza the Hut. And they had a an offer on where if you were under the age of 12, you could get like a lunchtime deal or something. Or like, maybe it was just a, a constant thing where the age of 12 was the age at which the, the offers change. This is actually really good. I'm happy to keep this. Although currently I'm doing well because everything's turning up millhouse, but there's a scroll of power, we should get it. Um and me and Danny Bell, my mate at school, who put me onto this fantastic Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought it had already increased the right one and I didn't think to check. Oh, that's a shame. Thought I could come out of the roll into a... A whip? Not a whip. A shield. Nice! I do like the ignore shield part of the old uh, arrangement now. Um, he put me onto the idea. But he said, you have to make sure you don't... You have to make sure you sound 12. I think it was 14 at the time. Um, and he said, this isn't going to work when our voices break. <laughs> And I remember also learning about people whose voices break and how they sound or speak and stuff. Um, I don't remember it happening to me, but I think it might be simply that my 
uh, my... <laughs> it's always been that bad. Um, let's go for random skills because we want to know what's green. Yeah, I'll buy a green skill. Uh, uh, and it was at the t that was the time when I stopped being able to do it because yes, my voice is broken. By the way, um, because my voice broke whilst I was trying to make use of <laughs> this very generous offer of Pizza the Hut to. Uh, to sell me their food at a reduced rate just because my voice is slightly higher pitched and effeminate than it was going to be for too long. It's a very strange thing that your voice should even have that transition. I don't really understand the purpose. Uh, maybe an anthropologist or similar could let me know. Maybe a, a evolutionary biologist or something like that. Because I don't like any of this. This is all terrible. I say this because I don't have a second thingy and the other ones are red. And I apologize for taking a red when I meant to not take a red, but here we are. Oh, you can have some things. Can we change our... No. Oh, I just changed my outfit. <laughs> See if it was not. I'm, I'm enjoying this whip. I like burn. That seems good. Although that poisons, so... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Explodes even better. But uh, that one poisons, and we did have a poison option, so... Um, let us get some HP. When an enemy dies. That seems fair. Any enemy will do. What was I saying? Something about voices. Yeah, why? Why do voices break? Because... It only happens in men, and this is an annoying thing to say because, of course, we don't believe in men anymore. It's not a real thing. This is, this is, this has been bad. Let me go. There's another one. Ah! <laughs> this has all gone horribly wrong. Everything just died. Okay. Why did you end up behind me? All this DPS available to me. And I'm just throwing it to the... Oh my gosh. You again. So the trick to these things I've noticed is to shield and then roll towards them. As fast as you heckin' rock out. That went okay. Yeah, it is working. It's just not, not, not doing very well because it's hard. Oh, ah, Cantona. I mean, eat. I mean, help. <laughs> oh my god. I'm regressing several hundred years. That was bad because I'm back. But in general, it was okay. Uh, I think I'm learning those things this pattern. And honestly, anytime we learn something about those things, I'm happy to take some damage. As long as I don't actually die to them. Right? It's, it's not the worst thing in the world. Although we are not uh, not doing too well. Uh, as a result of constantly taking damage to those things. I seem to have forgotten the bit where... Why did you take so long to attack? I seem to have forgotten the bit where you're supposed to actually watch out to see if... they are there. Let me just have a, a bit of a look for invisible enemies. Or cloaked enemies. They're not actually invisible, or you would never be able to see them. Oh, uh, before you just run gung-ho into any situation. Yeah, I mean, when I, <laughs> when I say we don't believe in men, um, that was a very, very tongue-in-cheek way of saying um, we have started to become a little bit more enlightened to the fact that sex and gender are fluid and generally um, variable concepts from person to person, I guess is a, one way of saying it. Like... When you, um, I guess what you might say is if one place where it becomes really, really relevant and is always a, a point of consternation amongst, I guess you say, enlightened people, why are you still taking damage against this? Thing? The fact that they jump away when you try and block them, is, <laughs> uh, try and roll past them, is just a pain. Uh, it's the Olympics. Like, people in the know and, uh, and sort of aware of the issues surrounding um, 
Essentially, we're talking about transport, right? Um, because that's the, the biggest area where the difference between sex, your gender, and your genome really becomes apparent it, it is in um, trans people who are one or the other or a mix or none or you know there's so many combinations of what you can be um, that uh, trans essentially covers the spectrum uh, approximately enough that we can talk about um, when you talk about trans rights we in the UK are a little bit more um, enlightened than many other countries. But all those other countries, they are competing in the Olympics. And the Olympic um, board, the, the classification... Sorry, I've got an itchy back and it's very upsetting. The, the Olympic board, the classification board type of people, need to know if you are male or female. And the people who are the best athletes unsurprisingly are a, 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 neither or both or ambiguous or something, right? They're essentially what we would call trans now. Um, but, you know, a while ago we may have like called the female athletes tomboys because that is how they are. They are sort of a more masculine female person, but then what happens when you actually are a more feminine male person, right? The, the spectrum overlaps, and quite rightly. Like, I'm, I'm painting with broad strokes, on, kind of on purpose, because it's, it's a big topic to cover in a Dead Cells episode, and I'm not trying to um, be wrong or, or misrepresentative or anything like that. I'm just sort of... Again, I'm painting with broad strokes, so... Um, anybody who feels differently about what I'm saying, you're welcome to. <laughs> Obviously, I am not here to, um, I'm not here to police whether you are you know, a true trans person or a true male or female or whatever. Blah blah blah. Um, I'm just trying to cover the topic for people who may not be quite so familiar with it. And sorry, I'm just. Concentrate because I don't want to take any damage. I'm doing really well whilst I'm not paying any attention. Uh, I hate it, so go away. <laughs> the Olympics is a big problem because it assumes that you can tell the birth sex of a person by some metric, and the number of metrics that they've gone through to figure this out without sort of offending somebody trans or getting it wrong or what have you blah 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 um i think we take the hp can you be equipped please there we go um you know it, it, it it's a big deal for a lot of people it's fair to say because a lot of people funnily enough are trans oh I didn't know which one to parry. Again, the other one, remember, the other one, all of it, oh, okay, takes time to explode, you could have probably done them both. Never mind, we're learning, oh, you know, we've got, we're, we're putting a little bit more into our mental understanding of, of how these things are going to go down. I don't really know how to hurt you. <laughs> Can I hit you through the wall? You're gonna come over here? I wish the I wish the whip would Oh okay, here, have this. There we go. Um aim. <laughs> slightly. Oh, I nearly got that wrong. Um so, one point of time, there was just sort of a... Uh, yeah, I think it was a genetics test to prove that you're female. Again, the fact that you have to prove that you're female but not that you're male is probably a big, bigger uh, area of concern, right? Um, so, basically, any woman competing in the Olympics has to prove that she is able to be considered a woman because otherwise she'd be competing against men. Um, which, on the one hand, you can see why it would be, but on the other hand, you have to ask why the default is male. 
And it's obviously because women were only recently allowed to play in the Olympics in the first place, which is obviously not an enlightened attitude to take. So then we're going, well, how do you know if somebody's male or female? Because their gender and their birth sex are two different things. That was an excellent move. I don't know if you were looking. Uh, and yes, they are. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, these people are female by birth. Birth female and want to be considered female. And these people are birth male and want to be considered female. But, you know, so why allow... Basically, why allow someone who is, who is transgendered, who is not cisgendered, which is somebody who's gender in their mind as it, which is what we're going to use gender to refer to is the same as the gender that they were born with the sex that they were born with basically their body matches their head um or wait what <laughs> um somebody who is cisgendered they say i'm a female and my body is female and that's fine or i'm male and my body's male and that's fine to the uh, like Olympic people, but when you say I was born male, or I've been brought up male, or blah blah blah, but my mind is female. That's when you become transgendered, um, and then it gets even more confusing when you are comparing. Oh, nice. We got something out of it. Um, people. Uh, like people whose body is ambiguous in the first place, right? I mean, you might say at least. Um, and some people gender fluid. <laughs> That's even worse for for the uh, for the Olympics because like you don't even know what gender you want to be, and you're trying to compete in the Olympics. It's like, well, yeah, but your current test says that my body is female, so I'm allowed to. And, well, you know, and then their current test quote-unquote, air quotes that you didn't see. Uh, I didn't like Swarm in the previous run, so I'm not going to. Um, the, their test is already, it's under scrutiny, and it always will be, because what can you test for that proves that somebody is female? Born female. And you might say, well, like, you could say, hey, did your voice break? In that case, you're a man. Right? Well, yeah, but I have no penis. Right? So, there is so many body types and, and, and combinations of, I'm going to call it weirdness, but please don't be offended by that. It's just, humans are weird, <laughs> right? So, so, I'm not trying to say you're weird because you're trans or anything. I'm just saying, humans are all weird, and there is a huge range of that weirdness, much of which covers this, this huge spectrum of combinations of um, body type, chromosomal sex, mental gender, hormonal sex. Like, the thing, it, there was a, an article recently where a woman, a female athlete, was told that she had to start taking hormonal suppressants, I think. Like, um, uh, man hormone, <laughs> you know, um, testosterone suppressants because they were giving her an unfair advantage because her testosterone was too high, even though by their test she was female, but she has too much testosterone. But how can you say that she has too much testosterone if you have decided that she's female? But the, the worst part was that it was juxtaposed with another article about a male athlete who was said to have a natural advantage by having a high testosterone count and, and to be lucky for doing so uh... i'm gonna keep going with the parry thing and the hp thing all that time we didn't take more than i mean i know we've got some food but hard to do excuse me any damage and all of that we certainly didn't use our health potion, which is super annoying <laughs> because if I'd known that I could have used that, I probably would have used it way more. Um, and yeah, I'm quite rightly that is under fire. But 
here's another problem, which is that the more opinions get spread around on the internet, and again, I think we talked about this. Or I, I can't remember what I've talked about in the shower and what I've talked about <laughs> in a Dead Cells episode. The more we, like, uncheckedly discuss our opinions on the internet, the more sort of opportunity anybody who is being opined against or about, like, the, the more justified they are to ignore you, right? So as we have more things like Twitter, on which certain um, concerns like <laughs> Brexit <coughs> are, are being extremely uh, heavily attacked. I'm trying to be diplomatic about it, but there is no diplomacy to be had. Everybody on the internet hates Brexit. Everybody on the internet hates this uh, this decision by the Olympic Committee. Uh, and all of this, like, I could go on just by going on Twitter and seeing what people are complaining about. You know, everyone hates the fact that Elon Musk is a massive douchebag. Uh, even though he's doing probably the greatest thing for scientific progress in mankind's history. Uh, you were supposed to stomp, if you don't mind. Have you noticed how I would rather fight this thing than the invisible thing? <laughs> ah! What did I just deflect and how? Because I didn't know I could deflect whatever I deflected. Um, and like our so-called government, which nobody voted for, is demonstrating, you just ignore it. The whole of the internet can be summarily ignored by the fact that everybody on the internet has an opinion and therefore nobody's internet opinion is valid because everybody's got one, right? So then you sort of have to wonder what recourse, what, what can we do to have a valid, how can you have a valid opinion? It's not possible anymore because every way that you could possibly have an opinion is invalid because people use it to have stupid opinions, if you don't mind me saying so. Um, which, uh, again, it's one of those words that we're really not supposed to use. We're going to use it anyway. People have ridiculous, ludicrous, lunatic opinions and they say them on the internet. So anybody on the internet having an opinion is, by association, a lunatic. <laughs> okay? Um, so what do we do? Well, you can write a letter to your MP, but how is it going to help the Olympic Commission, right? You can write a letter to the Olympic Commission. Well, okay, but then you're just constantly writing letters your whole life repeating what people on the internet are saying which can be dismissed right so i don't know what do we do we are in a situation where the people who are supposed to represent us can ignore our complaints about their method of representation the people who have opinions about things in real life let's talk about the fact by the way that there is no what happened here uh <laughs> it's hardly had any green scrolls so far now we've managed to even out our things almost completely by the fact that we have had so few scrolls with green on them. Compared to this. You're supposed to be stunned. That's why I do the smash. Joker. Hey, what? Also, all the enemies have a different exclamation mark time. Go away. <laughs> Everybody die. This is not appropriate behavior. Why are you still throwing things? Get out of it. Bump. Bump him. Bump him. Bump. There we go. Um. Anyway. What are you supposed to do? If you want to be upset at the Olympic Commission, light up. <laughs> you know? The... Everyone's upset at the Olympic Commission, for one thing or another. They don't care. Companies just do not care about your opinions. So many companies are just not prepared to alter their behavior in the face of public opinion. And uh, this is going to be another round about late capitalism, because they don't have to. There's nothing that you can do to change them. They don't care. They, they don't have to, because you're still going to buy all this stuff. It's like Nestle. 
right? There's been a there's been a, 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 a boycott of Nestle products in general since the 70s, right? Nestle in the 70s saw fit to sell artificial baby milk to mothers in Africa. And they got them hooked on these things because the parents who were now using just as water um, baby milk were now no longer producing their own milk and they were giving it away for free. And then they turned around and started, paying, started charging for it. Right? Uh, you're already probably seeing where this is going because that is reprehensible behaviour. There is nothing you can say that would suggest to me that that is... Uh, valid behavior because once again you would have to convince me that the profits of Nestle are more important than the sanctity of the human life that they have completely disrespected and uh, I don't have a bet there's no word for it right the things that they did to um, those African women are beyond contempt right there's nothing they can do in their own defense to suggest that that was ever a good idea. And the CEO of Nestle is like, I don't care. I got rich. He literally does not care. And he's gone on record for saying that he doesn't care and he would do it again and all things like this, right? There is... <laughs> but people still buy Nestle products. Because not just that, like... Nestle, having done that, then went to the town of Buxton in the United Kingdom, in the Peak District, and installed a bottling plant at their reservoir. So now the town of Buxton is constantly fighting for their own supply of drinking water against the forces of Nestle. Right? And yet people continue to buy Nestle products. When the consumer power was best exemplified um, when we stopped buying bananas from the Dominican Republic. Do I want to fight you? Yes. Have this. And this. You're a knife thrower. What a fun name. What was that? Ow. Well, I won. <laughs> That was actually quite an easy fight, all things considered. Swift Sword. I think, yes. It's, it's better. I don't, it's not 100% damage and 100% damage taken, is it? No. Uh, so let's take this Topaz out of me and I'm at 5. And we'll just, just sell this. I like the whip, but I also prefer something I can actually um, understand. I.e. a sword. Swing it and it hits enemies. You don't have to aim at a weird point. You don't have to stand so far away from them. You don't have to it. Balmont's whip, you have been good for us, but not that good. <laughs> what time is it? Nine o'clock. Oh, I need to feed the dog. Think about Jen going to... So uh, I record on Mondays because Jen's in London because she has clients in London because she does tutoring. Oh, there was a thing and I missed it. I just walked straight past it. Well then. Um, so, I mean, I've said this before. I record on Mondays because Mondays are the days when I have recording time. I blocked that. Just because my timing was off does not mean that I didn't actually try. I think I should get points for trying. Oh, nearly got that. Nearly came a cropper of that. Stop! <laughs> Knife thrower. What sort of name is that, huh? How do you get a speed buff? I've asked this question because we've had this sword before. How do you get a speed buff? How do you keep it? <laughs> also, we are getting HP back like there's no tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> no throwing of knives for you, knife thrower. Also, I beat an elite knife throw and I didn't get a drop. So, excuse me. I got a drop, but it wasn't what I wanted. Crusher 5. 
I kind of like the one we've got, and it's only going to go a little bit better when we upgrade it. So I'm going to say no. Keep the money and see if we can use it later on for something a little bit more important. <sighs> yeah. So uh, sometimes she takes Doggo and sometimes she doesn't. This week she has done because it's really hot and we haven't really got a way of keeping the car cool in order to allow Doggo to not die of heat <laughs> exposure uh, while stuck in the back of Jen's car when Jen is at the client because most of them are having the dog. It, it was probably an option, but it's rude to suggest it. And, um, it's rude to assume it, I guess. So, oh, gotcha. I mean, we are doing okay. Um, so sometimes you lose a dog here, and this is weekend is one of them because I say weekend. This um, week beginning is one of them because we can't put the dog in the car because it's too hot. Fair, fair. Except now I have a dog to look after. Okay? Not my dog, as I keep saying. Look, she's a fine capable dog, but I would rather not. She means I have to remember to feed the damn thing, because it wants to eat sometimes, which is weird, but okay. Uh, I have to feed me as well, which is also, it's almost like kind of worse, you know? I know, I can't be bothered. Anyone else get this? Like, eating is kind of a chore. That's 30. I've done 30, which is pretty good, so this sword has, uh, it's done its job for sure. The only problem is, that was not correct. <laughs> Absolutely not what I meant to do. Also, I got kicked straight away. Okie dokie. <laughs> right, okay, we're here. I'm not gonna try and find anything over there because there's nothing over there to be found except maybe some extra money, which we don't really need. Let's go to the block bridge and see if we can, let's, Let's challenge ourselves to not get hit on the block bridge. So this will be a case of paying some GD attention for once in your life. Uh, and remembering the, the concierge's attacks, which is going to be hard because I'm bad. So I don't want to get your hopes up. I don't think I'm going to manage it, but we should try. We should heck in well try. Um, you upgrade nothing. Fighters from that and then burn from that. So there's oil from the other one. We will take one more thingy, which is going to be. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's try counterattack. It might, it might be that we don't need to respec for the for the rest of the game now, which would be really helpful. It's been a half an hour last episode already, so I've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to keep waffling on, I'm afraid. So, uh, good luck. I'm gonna have to just keep talking. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, loser. Nope. Thing, I've got this oil, but nothing is going to uh, kill the enemy because there's nothing that can kill the enemy. Also, there's nothing that can give you a speed bonus. <laughs> uh, so, nothing's going to catch fire. There's not going to be a speed bonus. Get out of here. Because you're going to do your zappy thing, which I do not want to be a part of. I'll be over here. He's going to turn around, so my second... Um, my second trap, though, is going to be no use for now. Ah! I misread it. thought he was doing that one. Yeah, leave me alone, though. That's the thing. Ha! Have it, you. Put this here. Getting hit once is halfway there, I think. So if we can get hit not many times, that will be a good start. It's going to be a slow fight. And the reason it's going to be a slow fight is that um, I'm, I'm taking it slowly. <laughs> I hope that's not too obvious. 
Go for it. Let him do the zappy thing. Do the jumpy thing. Do this. Thing. Nice. Hit him a few times. Again, nothing can make us um, fast and nothing can make fire. So our main synergies <laughs> are no longer an option. His own fire, for some reason, doesn't set fire to my oil, which I would really appreciate if it were the case. I did get some uh, HP back from that. Which is nice. Yeah, have this. Just letting these things do some damage is, is actually working out pretty well. And then you roll up. Oh. And then we can do this. Oh, oh, oh. That's the first time I've been actually got by that. Is going to zap him? It's getting mad. Your bro's getting mad. Your boy Concierge. He is not happy with me right now. Have this. Oh! Whoa! Nice, nice, nice. So I go quiet when I'm paying attention, as you well know. <laughs> Apologies for radio silence, but you know how it is. Whoa! Careful. I wish I didn't bounce so much. Oh, oh, oh. No! What? That was weird. <laughs> I freaked out. You got me, dude. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Nah, because I thought he was going to manage to break out, and then he didn't break out. Oh, we've, we've thoroughly failed at our uh, attempts, but... Have this. You do do more damage to it when... Oh, forgot about that. When it's uh, in the trap. So do remember that. Oh, ah, mate, I've just lost it. <laughs> we were doing so well. You know, getting hit once, I was saying. That would be grand. Oh, nope. Missed. Uh, I thought I could get away with just one jump on that. Let's just get this over with. Oops. Ow. <laughs> Stop hurting me. Just die. There we go. I think we can do that. Honestly, I think that we are capable. By the way, I mean me. I don't know if you are. You might be. Good luck if you are. No boomerangs. No cleavers. These are bad. Give me colorless things or GTFO, right? Both of my primary weapons are colorless, which is awesome, actually. It's another thing we never actually think of at the start of a run. Is that a lot of the weapons that are really good could be... Um, in the right hands or you know with the right RNG could be um, could work in uh, in green if we're doing a, a survival run still the uh, border still finished. let's go the hard way honestly this is going to be one of those running the risk sort of jobs where we either do really well or we die trying. I I don't want to do something that we've done before a thousand times. I didn't bring my hunter's grenade, so I, I honestly don't know if there are any um, remaining... Why are you climbing? Yeah, I thought so. You are facing the wrong way. There's two of you. <laughs> What is happening? Let me out. Let's try this again. A little bit more uh, tension on the um, stuff that's happening around you. Stop throwing knives at me. How are you doing that from so far away? Glad that we're doing pretty well with our um, HP from all this killing stuff. I, I don't want you. <laughs> Go away. It's like trying to get rid of an ex-lover who is so obsessed with reigniting your brief but passionate relationship, which happened at a geography convention downtown one fateful summer. Oh, yep. And ever since... Uh... I like the synergy that we've got, actually. Oh, is that better? And ever since has been hopelessly but touchingly in love with you, despite the fact that you have no... Um, 
So the intention of, of reciprocating these emotions. I think the only way we can do this is like this. Because it keeps running away from me. I very much appreciate how that went down. That's really good, actually. Everything that happened just now was fine. Why are these things always together? Can we talk about this? Excuse me. Don't bounce off the ceiling, you bastard. Oh, you're stuck on you, are you? One of them got me. It's kind of okay. I do have some HP left in my flask. <laughs> but it's not good enough. No, no. Not good enough. Whew. Honestly thought I was dead. Keep going. There we go. Now try it. Don't zap away from me, you monster. Yes. I'll just hang out here. I'll just slip down the wall, didn't he? What a loser. What a monster. You're no friend of the people. Nice. Oh, that took a while. Hopefully there's nothing else to do over here that I don't really want to do. Anyway, long story short, it's dark. Kind of hungry. And I've got a dog to feed. Ha. You thought... I was going to be interested in fighting you, but in fact, I'm just going to move on and inevitably find another one of you to fight anyway. I hate this. I missed. I preempted that way too early. I'm doing it like a smash move. You don't need to... <laughs> I'm trying to wallop it back like I've got the... Um... Uh, no, I'm not fighting an elite one of those. Although, that being said, it might be the correct thing to do. So maybe I should. Why don't I have a speed bump? Oh, did you see me fail at that timing? Again. Come on now. This is tedious, I'm being honest. I know that when you die, you're going to give me some HP, so just let it happen. Why is every single pod of enemies exactly the same set? Huh? Anyway, folks to feed. People to feed. But bills to pay, I've got mouths to feed. There ain't nothing in this world for free. Which is silly because, of course, like, there's... It's not... <laughs> because... There should be stuff in this world for free because we have not yet got wages in parity with inflation. So, the whole of everything in this world should be free right now just to bloody well make up for it. What is this nonsense? How am I supposed to get up there? I'm gonna have to jump behind this. Again, I would much rather be... Stop it! <laughs> it's not difficult, just don't do it. Hey! Leave me alone, you dick. You've seen this guy. This will not stop. I'm trying to get in the right position to, uh, like, either deflect its attacks back at it, or just put myself in a better position, and neither of those things had any hope of working. <laughs> oh, that's really good. I see you. And there's another protector. How are you supposed to deal with this? <laughs> that was the wrong one.
What is a boy to do? If you're wondering where I get that from, I'm pretty sure it's Frasier. <laughs> Scrambled eggs all over my face. What is a boy to do? Uh, I mean, the correct thing to do here is just to be very, very careful indeed. Uh, and just don't go the wrong way in general. Um, I think we want to go back down. Oh, we could go across there. I don't like any of these directions. Look out for patrols. I'm going to take my time a little bit, but try not to take too much time because then we just end up standing around here forever, not actually making any progress. I've avoided every golem so far as well, which I'm happy with. Oh, a shop. Can I have an HP shop, please? <laughs> I know I've got one HP left. I mean, this is probably going to get me nothing of value. Uh, there's an assault shield, which is... I'm pretty sure no great. Absorb 7% of damage on them. Five seconds after killing an enemy, which actually could synergize really well with the swift sword. But the, the explosions. <laughs> and the spike shield does what? Inflicts major damage on blocked enemies. And it's colorless, but that's kind of... And it's giving us one... Yeah, I'm going to have to stick with it because it's... It's better, but only just. I think it's close. I think you, if you took the other one in that in that situation, that probably would be just as good for you as it's going to be for me. Uh, which means basically I wouldn't pay for it. But maybe you would find that particular shield easier to use. That's fine. I'm not judging you. I just don't want to be your friend. I'm scared. <laughs> sure, just give me, give me money. Why wouldn't you let me see where I'm going? Okay, fine. You do just fall straight down the middle. But I wasn't sure. <laughs> and I don't want this one to be the same. Or worse. Different. Oh! Heesh. I just don't want to use my HP flask until it's really necessary because... If I can um, to make my actual HP last that much longer. Oh, heck. Let's have a look at the map here. So there's... I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this and this. So I want to go down there. But I'm scared because if I go down there... Do you know what? Let's just... Um... Oh. Lose. Don't taste me, bro. <laughs> as long as it doesn't see me, I'm okay, right? Is it broken? It is broken. This is the slowest and most tactical game I've ever played <laughs> right now. See, I didn't want to go down there and find myself in an even worse situation than just trying to fight a, a golem that hasn't seen me yet. Which is much easier, I'll be honest. I see that. But am I supposed to be killing those? It doesn't tell me. I keep killing them, but it's never telling me if this is, like, a goal that I'm achieving. Fine. More of that, please. <laughs> Any more like that is fine with me. There's another one. Boop, boop, boop. Well, I have to go up there, and I don't want to. I'm hoping I can just go past the knife thrower. Just go up there. Are you sure? Die! Well, we had to, fortunately. If I can actually deflect that shot, it does a considerable amount of damage to said knife thrower. But I can't. <laughs> Ow. Go away. Oh, finally got some... Uh, speed. You know, that was... <laughs> that was a major part of my general practice right now is, is to actually have some speed um, in order to make my crits happen. 
has finally made itself known. Oh, careful. A great way of losing everything. We can get to the sepulchre, so let's just do that. Oh no, what is nonsense? Leave me alone. Anything good in here? Just an elite. Leave me alone on that as well. I, I don't want your charity. Uh, there's a decent chance that this does not have the thing that it's advertising to me, i.e. a full heal. So we may die very, very soon. That was a very difficult level, and I don't feel bad about getting through it in whatever way um, uh, I had to. But here we are. You can reforge, I guess, nothing. Because... That's that's oil. That's biters. Which do you know what biters not so good. Burn fine. Oil burn, poison. Upgrade. Poison. And we uh, we got a we got a lot of benefit out of that actually. Burn there. No oil left, but that's fine. Can we get some oil back? More damage to a burning target. That's pretty good. Although, yeah, I guess that's everything. Oh, we did get a thing. I'm very pleased. Although I'm quite tired and hungry and it's been a 50 minute episode and I'm running out of things to talk about. So, hi. We went to Maker Central at the weekend. There was a bit of a problem. Because when I say we went to Maker Central, we went on Saturday. And, and we've, we've been there before, right? We went, uh, we went last year when it was new in order to try it out and see what it was like. And it was really good. Um, I thought it was a grand help. <laughs> it was a really um, suitable use of time. <laughs> what a strange thing to say. I'm just trying to just trying to not die. Okay. The thing is about the Forgotten Sepulchres, you can't really spend the time to wait for them to attack you. So, doing a, a parry sort of attack is a little bit more dangerous than it is on other blocks because waiting for the enemy to come to you and then getting ready to parry it, you have to. Oh, didn't see you! Get out of it. See, it's um, not so much of an option with. I. You. Spent ages charging that one up. Too long. Help. Gosh. Uh, Maker Central is um, it's an expo. It's held at the NEC in Birmingham. I think I told you about this last year, but I don't know if I was doing this channel last year, so many of you may not be aware of it. Um. Excuse me? Why are these things literally everywhere? By the way. <laughs> hey, what? What? Enough! There's too many things here and half of them are coming back to me. Oh. Uh, I have to be honest. I'm quite sure how this works. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's an expo and it's got a lot of like power tool sellers and, and people who make things out of things. Not just power tools, that's a very gross generalization, but yeah, things like power tools. Um, things like CNC machines and, 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 and 3D printers, and lots of people who have used such things like power tools and 3D printers and CNC machines and, you know, hot glue guns, I don't know, <laughs> um, to, to make things. So it's, it's about makers and sen in the sense of uh, taking materials and making good stuff out. I wish you were there. <laughs> like, I, I parried this joker, but it just does that. I was kind of hoping that it would send its whole thingy back out. Honest with you. Uh, can I have some light? Thank you. I'm doing okay on the HP front simply because we are killing people at an approximate level from how much they can damage, but we're about half half hurt right now, which is more than I'd like to be, but less than I could be, so swings and also roundabouts. I hate that there's a strong chance of running into invisible things when it's already heckin' dark, quite frankly. Whew. 
Um, yeah, uh, we went on Saturday and we talked to a dude from somewhere. Where was that guy from? He was doing, um... His, uh... His CNC machine. It was like a... Um, his a, a constructed one from scratch, I think. And he had put a ballpoint pen in it. And he was doing copies of the Guernica. Which seems fair because, you know, that's a much maligned piece of work. And I think more copies of that in the world can't hurt. <laughs> right? Um, I'm being needlessly rude. I'm just having a laugh, mate. Uh, no. Uh, maybe. Sure. No. Why are you... Oh. Uh, I don't appreciate the fact that it's now getting dark and I'm hurting. Let me out. Ow. This is fine. Because. Uh, we need that thing to work. Please stop. Lift his back! He never went. Die. Just die. I've had enough. I don't need you anymore. Be gone. Oh, I tried to roll twice. I made it through, actually, which really, really surprises me, huge deal. I wish you protect uh, I've got an extra jump, I didn't even know. <laughs> Sell this, I don't need that. Let's get out of here so we can find a, a proper light. There's one. Find an enemy that's actually just extremely dangerous instead of gonna kill. Uh, makes essential, yeah, we went on Saturday, and the Saturday we met this guy and he was, you know, he does stuff in school system, which um, Jen was interested in. Because um, making stuff as a project for kids is superb. Because, like, that's what kids should be doing. <laughs> right? They should be getting hands on, they should be. Uh, look, I'm preaching. I don't mean that they shouldn't be doing the things that they are doing. If, for example, they have a, a good and valuable YouTube career or something like that, fair play to them. But honestly, even I, as a spender of time indoors, think that spending time indoors is not that great of a thing to be doing, um, even if it's something you're really good at. I have come to like the outdoors so much more recently than I ever have before. Um, not just because we have to take this dog for a walk, it's not like a, a, a sort of uh, unwilling acceptance of my fate. Uh, I do like it, I like being outside, I like going to outdoorsy places like um, Hunter. Like, uh, 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 we went to the forest on Sunday with the dog. And the reason we did that is that although Maker Central on Saturday was grand and we you know, had a cool chat with some cool people, um, there's a bit of an issue where, well, first of all, we had a massive issue with parking because um, Jen with a disabled badge, and rightly so, has difficulty walking. And another point about this, which we'll get onto as well. Ow! By the way. I tried to dodge. I'm shielding! You have to let me shield! Um, the actual... Because the car park was so far away from Maker Central itself, the, the hall where the exposition was being held, that we we couldn't get there. <laughs> you know, we should have taken the wheelchair, but we didn't because last year, well, two things. First of all, last year we had a um, we had a covered car park. And the covered car park was very, very close to the actual event hall. So this year, we naturally assumed the same, which seems like a reasonable thing to assume, because things are going to be the same. I thought I succeeded there, because all the same to you. Stop. Leave me alone. There was a light there, and I didn't know. That's grand. Uh, that was last year. So last year, there was a covered 
disabled car park. In a, in a big, big arena thingy. Big sort of warehouse barn type majigger. And then that was a reasonable walk. We took the wheelchair that time, but it wasn't too far from the event hall, so we could walk from one to the other if necessary. We did take the wheelchair, and we used it last year, but this year we thought the same thing would be the case, so we didn't take the wheelchair. Because Jen could have done all that walking. And so, we it was a good five minutes walk from the car park to the... Um, I'm not doing that. That's optional. <laughs> that made me do optional things. The actual necessary things are hard enough. Um, so by the time we'd gone there, and gone round, we spent less than an hour in the actual expo hall. And now unlock the spike shield. <laughs> I don't even know it was not unlocked considering I've got one. Um Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Oh. We didn't need this. We did really well on that floor to not take as much damage as we nearly did. Because we've died on that that floor before. Um so then we were worried about the dog in the car, right? Which, naturally, you'd be worried about the dog in the car because it was a hot day and it wasn't a covered thing. So we took the dog on the principle that um, we'd be able to... Oh, I should have shielded that. How did you do all of that? We need to learn to shield this thing better. Uh, forgive me for concentrating. Um, not that you wouldn't, but you get the idea. Um, it's just that I really want to learn to beat this Joker properly. Right? Uh, and I would very much like to learn its patterns. Because I'm thinking that... It seems to me there's a good chance that... Hey, I, I pressed that at the right time. It seems to me that there's a very good chance that... Um, with a shield and the right combination of like Oh, nearly got that right. Um, what am I saying? I think we could probably... Uh, oh, I remember. The existence of the... Um, the knife throwers, as they are, means I think I've got a very good chance of... Um, Fight in this thing because I think that when this thing throws shurikens at me, that is a similar defense on my part to the, uh, the, the knife throwers attack in the first place, i.e., you run towards it uh, 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 and, and shield the right time and you're golden, right? However, I'm not. The exclamation marks are showing up a lot more often than I'd like. See, that was like seven. That's way too many. I mean, I think we're okay here. The, the clock clock person is not that difficult to fight. But I am not doing so well at it right now. That's okay. Uh, but, I mean, we're winning. It's just that we haven't done it without taking a considerable amount of damage. But... Is this kind of normal? What? what, what <laughs> I won it with a parry, which should be an achievement in my opinion. Um, goodbye. You go back in time. You shrug about it as usual. So we did okay. I, I wanted to pay a little bit. Oh, this is actually really good. <laughs> it's, it's worse, actually. It's just bad. But that's okay. Um,. We've done well. I think we've done really well on this run so far, and I would like to get through this next level without taking too much damage. Last time we played this level, we mistakenly thought that we would be allowed to get a refill at the end of it. I think we're allowed to refill at the start of it. But, yeah, here's a refill now. So we got through the clock room without dying, and we have been blessed with the option to fill our Isthus flask before, this floor, but I thought last time that we got an opportunity to do so at the uh, start of the next floor, like just before the boss. Will you let me see? Goodness me. Uh, but it's entirely possible that is not going to be the case this time because it wasn't last time. So we should be wary that it's an option that 
this is our last chance. We should avoid taking damage, which is always true, but this time it's exceptionally so. I want to do something like this. Nice. That's very powerful, actually, considering how long we've had it for. It is a 4 plus plus. So, that's. Oh, we got it from our first successful 30 kills, no damage room, right? So. Although that was like a bit of a lark, to be honest. It only means to stomp there. It was, kind of, um, it was a bit of a lark at the time, because I wasn't sure if that's what we wanted. But it does seem to have done us quite well. Are we going to do something? Yeah. Because if you just, like, wander this way, yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Ah! No, I thought it was over. It wasn't over. That's really hard. I don't know how to kill that. It's not that I don't know how to kill it. It's just that I think killing that is going to be one of those, like, take forever sort of jobs. If you really just put a lot of effort into lean into the slowness <laughs> that you're inevitably going to have to deal with. So we parry the first one and then swipe it. But we've we've gonna get a lot of heals back from killing things, which I've forgotten about. Um, because we we have recover when an enemy dies, recover after parrying a melee attack, which means that one. Like that. Right, so obviously we were supposed to parry that the first time, not the second time, but it didn't hit hers too much because we got some of our uh, HP back. Nice. And it does damage because it's a spike shield. So this is going to be okay, I think. <laughs> um, we have ways of recovering HP that do not require us using our flask. We just have to make sure, obviously, that we are using it at a slower rate than we're recovering it. Random weapons, sure. Why not? Uh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> So I'm just going to let you shoot me. Oh, you can get me from there. What? You're going to shoot me? Nice. One more? Oh, yeah, one more. That was fine. Uh, that was probably a good way of... Um, you're going to shoot or what? Oh, you don't shoot in the shop. I see. Why won't you shoot me when I'm in the shop when the other things are perfectly happy to melee me when I'm in the shop? I do appreciate that this bounces it back in the direction it came from, because it's always easier. And the explodey baddie there. Superb. Hey, what? No, 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 no. You're supposed to parry that attack. Get out of it. Give me that. Let me parry something. Two. Let me parry something. Two. So you do that. Yeah. I'll go down here. Then, ooh, no. <laughs> nice try, sunshine. We're not doing too well on the old HP front here. On like, the quantity of HP available to us. I'm bad. I was trying to get that one to be parryable. I mean, they're easy to parry and it's working okay, it's just that when there's two of them and they're zapping you from above and below as well as from side to side. What? <laughs> Luckily, it's only two shots for those. Show me your moves. You can do that from there? That's a long reach, bro. Too far. I'm just gonna try and recover. Uh, was someone saying that you can't get HP twice from the same baddie? Maybe true. Like, maybe relevant right now, anyway.
for you. Get parried, son. Nice. Uh, and then we'll go... Yeah, take that. And then we'll go into here. Is the red one the one I hate? I can always come back and this. I don't want to do one that I don't want to do. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, this is fine. Roll. Okay. You... Nearly got you. You take too long to attack. That's not fair. I disagree with this approach. Look how long the exclamation mark takes to show up. What? No! Those things just completely throw off my ability to block. I've been blocking so well the whole day, and these things are just like five freaking seconds with their sword in the air. And doing a. Uh, when two enemies are out of sync like that, it's so stressful. We got so far. And I was trying to use my, my, my skills correctly as well, and it just wasn't happening. It's, it was not up to it today. Let's use the sandals and. No, this is no good. Let's get a, a decent start for the next run, because the sandals are terrible, and the quick bow is no use if you don't have a good weapon to, to make it work. Um, it's not like going for a streak. Oh, we got so far, and I'm really upset about that because I was happy with how far we were going, right? I was happy with the loadout we had. I didn't actually think we were likely to be able to beat a boss, but um, again, what are you telling me? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I thought we could at least have made it through that because uh, the boss at the bits at the end, I didn't have time to use the flask to get out of it all. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. It's been a very long episode, and it was a shame to fail at the end of it, but we got a lot done. We got a lot learned. We've learned a little bit more about those stupid birdie things anyway, so thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you will join me in the next episode. I'm going to go and eat something and give the dog some food, and until next time, I'll see you.